Well, I need some video ideas, and it's pretty hard to think of things. I mean, after all, it's not like I could just look up, um... Huh. Huh. Alright, let's look at some of these. Number one, tutorials. Okay, guys, so we're going to be doing a um, tutorial video today. This is tutorial number 56. Uh, we're doing another video on how to build a Minecraft house. This is going to be sort of a more simple, you know, sort of build. So go ahead and get out the items that I am currently getting. Get yourself some nice carpet. Get yourself, you know, all set up. So, now, the first thing that you're going to want to do is nicely place these along the bottom, okay? This will ensure that you will have a nicely textured floor. I got this design from my own brain, and it's, it's really cool and really fun, and I use it in almost every build I use. One time I built a gigantic snow structure, and I used this as the floor. The building was completely snow. The next thing you're going to want to do is outline it with this. This will go nicely with your completely flat desert terrain world. It's going to look really nice, and I recommend that you use this technique. I call this the Waffler's Technique, and it will ensure that you always have a nice looking front of your house. Now the next thing, I'm sorry that I have to do this, but you're going to want to get yourself some grass blocks and then go ahead and look up a nice spruce trapdoor. Now you're going to want some sort of bushes. So for this, I'm going to choose rose bushes. Now what you're going to want to do is place this here, this here, this here, and then you're going to want to do the same thing on this side. See how it matches? Now you're going to want to place this and this. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is simply get out glass and you're just going to just follow exactly as I do. Okay? So here we go. And there we go. Alright, so there's my house tutorial. It was pretty easy to follow along. It was just those three very simple steps. So now that we finished the build, just to make sure that everything that you've built looks like mine, here's my build. It's pretty basic. It shouldn't take you more than a couple minutes to build this. You should be easily able to follow what I have done. You see we have a golden apple on a plate here using this one cool trick found by a teacher. We also have an armor stand dressed in matching armor. Now if we go upstairs, we have the egg yolk carpet and also the waiting room where you wait for literally nothing to happen. And because I'm even nice, I gave you some room to craft, create arrows, but you already know that since you were following along. This is where you can store your riches, candles, and other goodies. Now, here's the chain with the lantern. You can also, as an added bonus, make the flag that is currently on top of here, and you can make the flowers that are here any color, or anything that you want. So that was basically my very basic building tutorial. Again, I went slow for you guys, so you're welcome. Uh, see me next episode where I build the U.S. Uh, I just build the USSR, just the entire thing. Uh, not uh, not a timeline, but j just the just Russia, just Russia. So um. That shouldn't take more than five minutes, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye. All right, uh, I guess, let's see, hardcore survival and challenges. Huh, I guess I could mix those into one. All right, guys, welcome to my Minecraft uh, Hardcore 100 Days series. This is an original challenge idea. Um, I came up with it myself one time. It was pretty cool. So the first thing we're going to be doing here is getting some wood. So let me quickly get some wood. How exciting. I got the wood. Now, the next thing that we're going to need to do is make this. Okay? But after this, okay, you're going to understand the struggles of a 100-day world. See, as this is an original idea, I have no one to base it off of, so I'm just going to be doing this off of my own, you know, mind and stuff like that, okay? 
Wow, that tree's on fire. Day one, a tree was set on fire. I, I guess I could do that voice, too. Oh, my God. Hey, a cave! How cool! Speed builds. Speed runs. All right, so we start the speed run with no suspicious commands in the chat. Now, the first thing that I do is mine a tree, which, of course, people like Dream and other speed runners like um, Fruit Berries and Illumina and person number four use in their speed runs. So of course I grab my wooden axe and I start mining melons for food. And right here is where I find the completely legitimate and not spawned in armor and stuff that um, randomly generated under the melon. This is actually a new drop that is not cheating at all. Uh, it's actually just a new drop in the game. So I grab my shovel, I grab my spade, and I start digging. And I get this, uh, I get to, I get this stone because I'm digging for, um, for something that's underground. And so I start digging the other way, and because of the new bug in the game, I accidentally fall directly into the ender portal. So now, I'm mining, and I'm mining, and I'm mining, and I realize I don't have a pickaxe on me. So I turn around, and I'm spinning, but you might think that this is panic, or that I've messed up. No, this is the waffle technique. Here, watch. Alright, did you see that? See, I spun around, and I got an iron pickaxe. Now, how did I do this? Well, you see, it's very simple, okay? It, the waffle trick allows you to spin around and pray to Mojang to give you a pickaxe, okay? And this works every time for any item. I just happen to need an iron pickaxe in the situation. So, now that I'm mining straight to the surface, soon we will see the final face-off between uh, the speedrunner and the hunter or the ender dragon. I should make that a video, Speedrunner vs. Hunter. What a good video idea that no one's ever done before. Now that I'm shooting at this Ender Dragon, I just want to follow it. 
And so, of course, being also part of my technique, I look at three different Endermen because I'm very smart and that's part of the technique. I try to pill her up, but I realize that I'm bad and I can't. So I shoot another shot and the Endermen are slowly murdering me. So I realize that my best uh, and most efficient use of resources is to run to this pillar and start pillaring up. Now, since the dragon at this point started to perch, I start to shoot my arrows at it, okay? So I just need to land a couple hits. There's one. There's two. There's three right there. All right, there we go. Free the end achievement unlocked, which means we've killed the dragon. We still need to get to the portal, however. So I make the final dash. While the endermen are chasing me, I don't care. Get 27 levels. Transformations? What? What is the difference? Uh, wait, wouldn't it be on the right? Oh, uh, whatever. I can do this. And what was once an ugly building is now this. As you can see, this is a transformation. I did it very well. New Wafflestein, Wafflestein, call it whatever you want. We got a flag that is very original, and I made this my. I thought of the design myself. And we have banners and a carpet. That has been another episode of Waffle Transforms Something Meaningless Mods. How about no?